Welcome back, y'all. Today, we're going to be looking at everything we need to know about ChatGPT as the model has been updated a lot as of recent. So we're going to learn everything that's capable if you're a ChatGPT Plus subscriber. So if you're familiar with ChatGPT or you've been using it in the past couple months, we obviously got this new user interface upgrade, which is honestly, at first, I didn't really like it. But after using it more, I kind of understand why they did it. It looks a lot more, you know, clean and give us more perspective on how to kind of start leveraging different tools within ChatGPT as now we've kind of compartmentalized different features found within the platform. So first, let's just go ahead and just do a simple walkthrough of everything we should know about when we are using ChatGPT Plus and what's entailed. So if we come up here, this is how we identify what type of model we'll use. There is a pretty big difference between GPT-4 and 3.5, and then we have the plugins here. My understanding though, plugins are probably going to slowly get sizzled out here as the new GBT and the GBT store that is coming is probably going to take the place of what plugins used to be when we use them in these past couple, this, you know, this past year. So knowing that what you should worry about is between GBT four and 3.5. The context you use 3.5 is for really, really simple stuff. Personally, the only way I use 3.5 now is if I have some text and I will add, you know, a statement like this, make it make grammar correct. And then I would provide the text there and just have it make my grammar correct in the underlying text here. 3.5 is very limited. You can still do stuff within 3.5, such as, you know, as you see, you're creating a content calendar, explaining code and stuff of this nature, but it is so limited that I would advise using it because you'd rather use a model that can understand more layman terms and just conversational speak. Therefore, jumping over uh, chat GPT-4, there is a bunch of cool stuff we can do now in the default model. Start off, we can do something like this. Uh, what is the most recent news today? So what's great about the default GBT4 model is it has the ability to access the internet. It has the ability to generate us images. And finally, it has the ability to do advanced math slash help with code. Knowing this, we're able to get really complex, you know, outputs and really, you know, streamline processes when it comes to trying to solve certain, you know, situations. From here though, as you see with any type of information, it does provide uh, the source. So let's say for example, the Donald Trump on Colorado 2024 ballot, I could click this and we get the underlying source uh, of information that it finds. On top of that, with the GBT4 model here, it actually shows you the path and th the route it takes when doing web search, so that's super cool. And following this, uh, at a flat rate of 20 bucks a month, as you probably already know, we can do images. So I can do generate me a dog jumping up a roof, something like that. And it will know from what I described here, I might have to actually add image here, that I want a dog jumping on a roof. It's gonna use, as you see, it uses the Dali model here, which is really nice for us. And we're gonna be able to get a dog on the roof and kind of you know play around with that. Furthermore, stuff you should know about when using ChatGPT is we can click this little pencil here, and this allows us to edit our original prompt. So if ChatGPT gives an answer you don't like, I can go ahead and say, you know, maybe instead of what is the most recent news today, I can say what is, and as you see here, we got a nice dog jumping by a roof here, but instead of wanting maybe the most recent news, we say, what is recent news in California? So maybe I wanted to specify further here. I can hit save and submit. And as you see here, it starts a whole fresh new chat. This is really useful when maybe you um, basically said something you probably didn't want to say because ChatGPT gave a really random answer. We can hit that little pencil here. And as you see, we're going to get relevant news in California. And on top of that, maybe the, you know, future question you asked there isn't the one you actually wanted. We can actually re roll back by clicking this. And now we're back to our original chat. These can get pretty lengthy here. In theory, I can do this again. And we can go out like all the way up to 10, 20 new chats based off me restructuring an original prompt. This is very useful when you're very far down in the chat and you maybe took a left turn when you wanted to take a right turn. Go ahead and leverage that. Now, on top of that, if we come up here to the right, we have this little button here. This allows us to share the link to the chat. So as you see here though, Sharing chats with images is not supported yet, but chats that just are text and maybe you you know have it proctored to a certain direction allow you to achieve you know more effective ability to share a chat with like friends and family. So all I would need to do in this context is I could either share my name or not share my name and hit copy link. So following that, we have the ability to do a bunch of other stuff when it comes to chat GBT. So if I hit this open sidebar here, we're gonna get all of our history and all of the chats we've done in the past. Let's go ahead and walk through our profile first. So I'm gonna go ahead and move myself over here. 
And with our profile, we have a ton of different options. So obviously you're probably familiar with this one. This is your plan. And as you know, it costs $20 a month. And this is what gives us access to do so much stuff within ChatGBT. The second thing we can look at here is going to be my GBTs. So my GBTs is um, all the GBTs you've created and we'll jump into this um, up to this point. And just if you're a complete beginner, GBTs are our way of specializing chats for certain tasks. We can train it on knowledge and we can even do custom actions in it. From here though, we can keep on going down our settings here. Next thing we have here is custom instructions. So custom instructions used to be very powerful and it still is very powerful, but the way that we should probably approach stuff like custom instructions now is when is to create a GBT specialized for that. But to give you more clarity on what even custom instructions was and what its purpose was, is that it basically gave us the ability to uh, laser in chat GBT responses for a specific use case that we may have. So for example, let's say I was a social media manager for X business, I would put, um, you know, all that information in what would you like chat to know about you to provide a better response so it knows my context and then how would you want to respond i want you to respond in short sentences with three bullet points stuff of this nature so this isn't as pertinent as it used to be because now we can create gbts but knowing that you have an understanding of custom instructions finally we have our settings here so settings allow us to change stuff you know obviously from light to dark um, i've gotten a lot of comments telling me to, to go to dark so now we're going dark because you know lights too much on the screen we have the ability to clear all of your chat history. We can also, you know, enable plugin dev tools. If you want to create a plugin, I would suggest just creating a GBT now. Going to beta features here. This is where you can enable future uh, features that are available, but are still in beta testing. Therefore, it may be a little bit more glitchy. And our data controls here, we can uh, have chat and history for training. So basically save new chats on this browser to your history and allow them to be used to improve our models. You can enable that or disable that. This is where we manage our shared links. Pretty cool. From here, if we go over here as well, you can say view source chat. This is gonna open up a new tab. And on top of that, we can go ahead and delete all shared links if we choose to do so, or we can go ahead and edit the underlying link if we choose to do so. But coming back over here, we're gonna go ahead and exit out of this. We can export all of our relevant data. And finally, you can delete your account. Don't wanna do that. And finally, this is your builder profile. So this is how it's gonna show when a user uh, accesses your underlying GBT that you created. If you share a GBT, this is where your name or you're not your name is going to show up on top of that if you want to change how your name is you can go to your billing settings which is going to be uh if you come back over here to here and we go to my plan you're going to go ahead and say manage my subscription and that's where you can change your name that shows on the front facing of gbt's ui so let me go ahead and explain a little bit about the final feature here well actually let me show you one last thing here so for this i can go ahead and share it directly here on top of that i can rename it here to uh news so for my reference, if I want to find an older chat, I'm like, wait, what, what was that called again? Oh yeah, I named it news and I can click it and I can come to an older chat like that. The way they do chat naming now is just basically they'll probably take the summarization of what incurred in that chat and name it that way. The final thing and probably the most powerful thing that's come out recently with GBT is the ability for my GBTs. So go ahead and look at that playlist up there if you want to learn more about this. I show you how to make private public ones, show you how to make custom instruction ones. But the way I want you to look at this as we'll just go ahead and jump into one together is you are creating uh, GBTs to just to solve for certain use cases. So for example, this one I created for myself is called Grammar Easy and its only function and only use case for me is I'm gonna put in maybe a paragraph I wrote out for an email, I'll paste it in here and just make it grammatically correct. That's its only use case, but it's more effective, more efficient as me personally, I've always been bad at grammar, but this gives me the ability to basically put out, spill out all my ideas onto a piece of paper and then just have this, you know, add the comma, uh, add the quotation mark or whatever it may be in that context. That's why these are so powerful because whatever is like the little labor things that you do in your day to day, you can make GBTs associated with that. So take this one step further here. I can make a GBT that is trained on my business data, therefore allowing me to get more insightful answers on what I choose to do. This is simple. All you need to do is say save only for me and how you configure this, go ahead and make sure to check out that playlist as I dive into in deep how to configure this. And on top of that, we even have a GBT found in the description down below that allows you to create a GBT for, so it's a GBT made to create GBTs. And as you see here, uh, you can basically create a GBT for whatever you may want. Knowing that you have gotten a full idea of what's capable on ChatGBT. If you wanna learn more about what's capable on ChatGBT and really how to start leveraging it for your personal, 
or your business life make sure to be following here and make sure to subscribe as i do daily videos on topics like these and on top of that you can check out a lot of my content around this one really powerful one if you want to learn how to do prompt engineering it's called prompt crafting 101 maybe i'll link that at the end here just showing you how to talk to a model like this to get more effective outputs make sure to like if you feel like you learned something today i'm gonna to leave everything that i referenced here in today's video at the end but without further ado i'll see you in the next video thanks for tuning in and yes surprise i'm an ai avatar Make sure to explore more here at Corbin AI, where we demystify AI for your personal and business life. Until next time.